Hey guys, today I'm sharing with you this wonderful appliance. This is our new ice machine. Oh my gosh. Let me just tell you, it has changed our lives. We don't have enough room in our freezer to have ice. So it's very rare that we end up having some ice that we can put in our drinks. So now that we have this, I swear we have drank more water. Uh, we have made fun drinks. Oops, let's focus. Uh, it's just, it seriously has changed my life. It, there's nothing better than a nice glass of ice water. Uh, which you can't have when you have this teeny tiny freezer. I've been wanting to get a deep freeze so that I can have ice or, you know, just, I'm not, I don't have those fancy fridges that have the ice makers in them. So if you're like me, you'll want this. I guarantee you'll want this. So it has, it's simple to use. On off button. Uh, when it's full of ice, this is blue. When you need to add water, this turns red. So I can add water to it, but I want to it not to be running when I showed you what it looked like. Oh, you just add the water right up here. Easy peasy. So that's where you add your water. It's sparkly. So it looks like it's dusty um, on the camera, but in real life, it just has like this little sparkle in it. All right, this is what it looks like on the inside. Uh, it actually makes your ice vertically. So the water drips into here and then it pushes your ice out. And here is all of your ice and it does come with a scoop so you can get in there and scoop up I evidently can't do it while looking at this but you can scoop up your ice you get the point you know how to scoop ice so and it will keep your ice in here and then it will just continuously make more as long as you're adding water and it is smart enough to know when it's full so anyway this is the ice machine but I'm gonna have the link down below you go check it out if you are uh, like me and you like fun drinks or you like ice water, you're trying to get more water in your life, um, go check it out. It is worth the investment. Let me just say that. It is 100% worth the investment. I don't know. I don't know. I just love it. I love it so much. Anyway, let's get to making some drinks. We are going to show you our favorite drink. So Bella is going to do hers. Hers is a uh, Shirley Temple. Yep. And mine is a uh, Diet Coke. A cherry vanilla Diet Coke. This is how I make mine. I add Diet Coke to my glass. Again, I can't emphasize enough how much we really, really, really like our ice. So we fill it almost up to the top. Maybe just, yeah, Bella filled hers up a little bit better than I filled mine. I'm just going to put a tint like that. I usually drink that pot. Oh, when it's too full? Yeah, I like the bubbles. It's so good. That works. All right, and then we add some cherry to them. And just a titch. You don't need a bunch. Mm -mm. If you add too much, it won't taste very good. No. Ooh. So you add a little bit of cherry. It's so good. And a little bit of cherry to mine. No. And then also to mine, I add this vanilla. <laughs> it's like for your coffee. Yeah. But it's so good to add to your Diet Coke as well. Now, these are not healthy. No. Nope. These are <laughs> when you've got all your water in for the day, mm -hmm. then you can do these. And then yeah. we bought these little fun oh. stir sticks. One thing we almost forgot. Cherry. Cherries. Now, I don't like cherries in mine, mm -hmm. so I don't put cherries in mine. <laughs> but Bella loves cherries, so we always make sure to throw in a few extra. Okay, this cherry syrup is really good put some, put some in. inside of your drink as well. So if you don't have the grenadine, then go ahead and just use some of the uh, cherry juice from your jar of cherries. But if you don't have any, I don't know what to say. Yeah, then you gotta go buy it, because then you can't make the drink. And then you just give it a little stir. Then you are done. Pop in your straw and you are all done. All right, so here's a straw for Bella. Thank you. Here's a straw for me, and let's try them. Oh my gosh. So good. We put them down at the exact same time. <laughs> we like, oh, So it. good. This is one of my favorite, favorite drinks. Yes. So go and make one for yourself. Just remember, just a, you just need a little bit of each of these to really flavor it well. So we? let's make our next drink, shall I'm, we? Yeah, I need my trailer though.
I changed the camera angle just a bit here because I wanted to show you what I'm working with. Uh, we picked up some Hawaiian Punch. You can use any sort of juice like this that you want as long as it's a color. And then we have some 7-Up. You can use Sprite, uh, ginger ale, whatever. Just a lemony, limey, clear pop. And then, of course, your grenadine. So the one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one ratio, um, you could do like a third of a cup of each. I sometimes just kind of eyeball it. And they say to pour in the punch first. I never have luck with that. So what I do is I take my grenadine and I just pour it down the side of my glass because I want my grenadine to be on the very bottom. And you can pour in as much as you want. So we probably did like an eighth of a cup down there. Then I take this. <laughs> this is a gravy pour but use whatever kind of pour that you want. Something that you're able to kind of control how fast it comes out. Yes. And then I also use my spoon. And it, can you see how I'm like putting my spoon in upside down? I'm gonna pour my fruit punch over top my spoon to just kind of have it go in very slow. And we're going to want to start to make a layer. Is it making a layer yet? Yep. yep, we can see it. So it went kind of from red to orangish to green on the very top. Yeah. Can you see that? Red, orange, yeah, greenish, yellow, and then green. Yeah. So you could even make this rainbowy if you wanted. Yes, that would be super cool. Actually. I don't. Comment down below if you ever done that before. Yeah, tell us and tell us how you did it, because maybe we can try it. Yes. I don't know how to do it. Okay, so now we're gonna put our sprite or our seven up just on the very tippity top. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna do our spoon method again. You spit all the time. Yeah, I spit all the time. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Bella Boo's lunches. <laughs> Uh-oh, am I getting a layer on the top or no? Not one way. Sorry. Oops. This one came up with us, yeah. I mean, it's kind of a layer. Yeah, you can totally see it. But guys, over Let's here. Let's move this. Guys, over here is like red. <laughs> Just a ditch. So there you go. So here it is. Our, look at in this ice cube. You can see the fruit punch is in this ice cube. That one's what's the, in the, here it's red. Let's see. Why you little? That is so cool. That's cool. Like it goes to red, orange, yellowish, greenish, yellow, and then whitish. And then you put your straw in. And you're good to go. And don't forget a stir stick in case somebody wants to stir it up. Stir it up. I want to stir it up. <laughs> so there it is, guys. Isn't that fun? Yeah. This is my take on a cheap caramel macchiato. This is how I make it. Now, I did use hazelnut coffee. I believe Starbucks uses vanilla flavored coffee, espresso, whatever, I don't know. Um, but I used hazelnut. And all I do is I pour some of my coffee into my cup. And then I add some vanilla. Oh, geez, not that much. All right, so just a little bit of vanilla. Don't go crazy on it. And then I top it off with my soy milk. You can use almond milk, regular whole milk, whatever milk that you want. And I think at Starbucks they do the soy milk first. I don't care that much about the layerage. I know they're all about the layers there. We make our own layer drinks. Okay, and then on the top of that, you're just going to add some caramel drizzle. Or a lot. Oops. And that is it. That is your caramel macchiato. Does that not look delicious? Give it a good stir. Yes. So good. So good. That is my favorite drink for like coffee drinks. These are all my favorite drinks. I don't know why I'm going to say that's my favorite drink. Here are our four drinks. Tell me, do you make any of these drinks at your house? What are your favorite types of drinks to have? And these are not healthy. These are treat drinks, but you can make them with ice. <laughs> so 
The whole point of the video is because we have an ice maker, which I absolutely love. So thank you so much, New Air, for sending me that beautiful ice machine. And now we can have these fun, delicious drinks every day if we want. Uh, again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you go and make yourself some fancy, fun drink tonight. And you have a wonderful day. Bye, guys. Can I say thanks for watching? Yeah. Thanks for watching and don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell. And comment down below if you would try any of these. Bye!